friends, how's everybody today? Today I want to share a craft with you. I'm going to show you how I make these cute little coasters. Friends, are we ready? Let's get to crafting. The first thing you're going to need, friends, are a super bright copy paper, hairspray, chalk paint, tiles, cork adhesive, mod podge, glitter, your paintbrush, scissors, napkins, or a print of your choice, and epoxy, and some other supplies that I will show you as we go along. Okay, friends, the first step you are going to need to take your tile piece, and these pieces are 15 cents at Lowe's. You can get a bundle of 12 of them for under $2, friends. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna paint your um, edges of your tile. Now this is gloss, because that's the only thing I could find. You're gonna paint the edges so that the barcode doesn't show and you get nice uh, white edges on there. All right, friends, the next step, I took a piece of plastic and I took my tile and I cut it slightly smaller to make it into a template so that I am able to measure my picture and know where to cut it. Okay, then I took a, uh, just a, a pencil or a pen, whatever you want to, and I traced it around the picture and then I was ready to cut it out. I used these scissors. I just kind of like this pattern. It's a jagged edge, but you can use whatever scissors you have. You can even cut these into any shape that you want. Now the next step, friends, I took the tile that's already painted and I've got my little picture already. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some Mod Podge. You can dip your brush in there and give it one good thick coat. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your picture and you're going to put it on your tile. And you're going to rub it down, squeeze it, squeeze all the little air bubbles out of it. Uh, if you're using a napkin, friends, you have to be careful in taking uh, the little bubbles out of it because you can tear it very easily. Once your picture is on there, you're going to be ready for the first coat of your Mod Podge over the picture. Apply a generous amount. One coat. Let it dry for 15 minutes. 
before you apply the second one. This picture of my Eric and my sweet Leanna it already has two coats on it. It is ready for the next step. This one is ready for the next step too. This is a picture of my middle son, John Paul, and my sweetheart, Laurie. And the one I made with the napkin is ready. And I'm gonna show you how I put the glitter on there. Okay, friends, if you'll notice on this one, it's got glitter around it. It's all glittery, and I kinda got carried away on that glitter. This one that's already done, you can see how pretty it looks. I'm gonna put the glitter, I put one coat over the napkin of the Maj Paj. Now I'm gonna put the second coat on it, and then put the glitter on. Friends, this is an optional step. You do not have to use glitter. Um, you can use stickers. You, you, can, you can dress it up any way you want. Um, it is strictly up to you. And I'm using this fine glitter from Hobby Lobby that I've had for a long time. It's super fine. It's going to give it that real soft effect. Okay, when it dries clear, you can tell that the glitter will shine through. Friends, something I wanted to mention on this, if your uh, napkin gets all wrinkly like this, don't worry about it. Uh, turn your oven on to 350, and when it gets to 350, turn it off. Put this on a baking sheet and put it in the oven, and uh, let it be in there for about 10 or 15 minutes. When you take it out, I promise you, friend, all the wrinkles will be gone. Because that's what happened to this one. And look. All right. And this one, too. This one had wrinkles on it. Eric saw me take this one out of the oven a while ago. Okay, friends. We're ready for the next to the last step, which is the epoxy resin. Uh, these are all ready to go. And I'm going to mention something to you. When you mix this up, you need to be in a well-ventilated area. And you need to wear proper PPE, especially if you're uh, sensitive to smells. Although this one doesn't have a very strong smell, but some of them do. Um, I'm going to show you the process, okay? We're going to step outside to uh, my screened-in porch. Okay, friends. Here's the uh, process into making these look like glass, all shiny and pretty. I'm going to put my gloves on first. You always want to wear gloves when you work with epoxy, that's for sure. You mix equal parts of these two solutions. If you don't mix equal parts, friends, it'll get sticky on you and it will never dry. You will have to do it again. The whole uh, process of mixing it up and making a new batch for it. Then, I'm using a, a poster board that um, is covered with uh, 
wax paper because the epoxy does not stick to wax paper. I know this looks hard, but once you get this down, friends, you're going to be making these as gifts for friends and family. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to mix this up for 60 seconds. Okay, friends, this is how I start this process. I just dip my fingers in the mixture and I just rub it all over the little tile. I know some people pour it on there, but I've never done it that way. And yeah, it gets messy and it gets all over the place, but it'll be okay. Just make sure no bubbles are in it. Okay, friends, once you've got all your um, pieces with the resin on it, be sure and put it in a safe place where no insects or bugs or dust, you know, uh, something can get on them and ruin your pieces. Uh, I've had, actually, I had a bug one time uh, stop on one of my ornaments and it just, just drove me nuts. But anyway, so be careful, put it in a safe place uh, and let it dry overnight for 24 hours. And in the morning, or like overnight, just you can just pull them up and they'll be ready. And you can tell, if depending on where you live, I don't know, but it takes 24 hours here where I live. Uh, this, where you drop, where I drop some, what I do is I test to see if it's dry or not. And that's what I go by. But normally, I've used this stuff for a lot of years, and it, it's always dried for me overnight within 24 hours. Okay, friends, let's go back inside, and I'll show you the very last step. The very last step is putting the cork, adhesive cork, on the back. And once you've done that, it gives it a little height, and it covers up, it covers up, uh, the waffle look in the back and it won't scratch your furniture. Look at that. That turned out adorable. Look at the finish that you get at the end. Friends, these are so pretty. Can you just see them as gifts? Seasonal gifts with seasonal pictures of your family and friends or just fun stuff. Okay, friends, that's it for today. Just want to remind you um, I'll be posting crafts on Instagram that I do while y'all are not watching. And so be sure and follow me on Instagram. And this is my birthday month, okay? So on May 29th, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. Uh, comment below and let me know if you want to see me give away a mystery box, a Dollar Tree mystery box, or a gift card, Dollar Tree gift card. Comment below and let me know. Meanwhile, thank you friends for watching. I hope you try this craft because once you do, you're going to be giving such really nice gifts left and right and you're going to be having some for your home. Friends, love you. Thank you for your love and support.